tighter. What are some options that you have if, if we're going to play softer? Um, I mean, you know, any drummer is always excited to be able to play with sticks at the full volume. Um, the drums just, they just sound the best that way. That's a great way to be able to play, but you rarely have that luxury in a live situation. Um, so, you know, when we're on the road, we might be playing outside where I, they do want to have some volume, but we also might be playing inside a church or um, just an echoey kind of room. And you really have to have some options for that. Um, the first would be, um, do you want me to demonstrate? Yeah, right now you're, you're playing with sticks, you know. I come before you. So that's, uh, you know, that's playing full volume. And, um, you know, my first thing. It's loud. It's loud for me as well. In my, you know, as a, as a leader, I mean, that snare is just, uh, just, just killing my ear. So as a worship leader on stage, your drummer, if he's playing super loud, um, you just have to have, have to have a great relationship with him. Within ears, it does kind of plug the sound a little bit so I can, you know, mute some of that. But, boy, if a drummer's playing loud just five feet behind you, it's going to affect the way you sing. You won't be able to hear yourself. So you've got you to talk about all these things. So in this case, I would probably say to Tim, um, your snare is killing me. Uh, can you give me another option? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, because you do have you have to be sensitive to the room and to the the audience or the congregation, um, but also to your band. And the, a lot of times the singers are right; uh, they have the drums right behind them, like Don, and um, it's it's really going to kill them, and they're not going to be able to hear their own vocals and sing in key and all that stuff that matters um, probably a little more than the drums. Um, so. Uh, the first thing I would do would be to maybe stick with, you know, keep your sticks, but just tone it down. Learn how to play softer, but with still the same energy. So just hitting a little lighter. Don't, you know, you kind of have these uh, levels that you can graduate to or, or go down to. Um, and then I would just, uh, if it's still too loud, you know, they have a, all kinds of different stick um, options now. They have rods. Uh, these are rods. So these are a little lighter. And then uh, if it's still too loud, I would go to brushes. Um, and, and you can get creative too. You can get a uh, percussion sounds happening and don't be afraid to uh, mute the drums um, you know throw throw shakers or whatever you have um, on your drums and and just get different sounds and that's a cool way to, to so when you got you have a, a, a rag on top of your snare yeah that's right that's right you can throw a towel or uh, they make all different kinds of mutes for drums so you can you can do a lot of different things so let's but. hear that. There's just one thing that I want. Yeah, play that way from now on. Play. So yeah, you have options. You have lots of options, and you can get creative and uh, try different things and, and work with the band, work with your leader.